Hilchas Tumas Tsaras Perek Arboser. So here the Raman will start discussing next week Prokim, the Din of Tsaras Habatim. So we learned about Tsaras Adam and different different types of Tsaras Adam. There was Tsaras Habgadim. And now in the next week Prokim is Tsaras Habatim. And in the in first Perek will discuss the what kind of bias it has to be in order to have Tsaras Habatim. Then the Seder, in the next Perek is the Seder of the Tsaras Habatim. How the Seder is of the Hezger and the Hechlet and the Netitza Tzabayas. And then in Perik Tezayin over there discusses the gather of the Tuma of Tzoraz. Perik Arbo Asr. Tzoraz Batim Kishnei Grism Zebet Sadzeh. Until now, by Odom and by Begodim, there was always one Gris. By Batim, there's a din Kishnei Grism Zebet Sadzeh. There's Nim Tzoreich of Anekev. Kimei Mekem Tzmich HaSheish Sairus Beguf. So when a gris we said was Sheish Cyrus, by Sheish Cyrus, the amount of space that a, by, and a person grows six Cyrus by six Cyrus. So when a gris we said was so it's obviously it's six Cyrus by twelve Cyrus. And it's Biribua. So if you have less than Shnei Chrisim, so it's Tor. Allah Chabes. Shlesha Simoni Tumi Yesh Bebatim. There's Mari Yerakrak. And from that itself, you can have Tumi, like we'll see Baham Shech and Vadam Dam. And also Vahapi Soy. Like just like we said, we also in Igea, God was also Shlesha Simonim, and it was Yerakrak, Adam Dam, and Pisoy. The Kulam for Russian Betera. With Shnei Amaris, with Starf and Zemizer. And you can have one Gris of Yerakrak and one Gris of Adam Dam next to each other. That's also called the Negev. That's din number one. And also there's another din, upisyen asomuch. If something, there's a din of pisoyen when it extends, and that's a simon tumah. So it depends. If it extends somuch, so then it's kosher. So in other words, if the actual nega becomes bigger, so then no matter, even if it becomes a little bit bigger, that's also called a pisoyen. But if it extends, but it's not next to the original nega, there's an extension further from the nega, and on the wall, but in the house, but it's an extension further from the nega. So then is the shiris kigris. Now in that gufa, there's two types of pisoyin. There's a pisoyin, as we learn in there's sometimes a, a, a matzav where you have to go ahead and take out the nega from the house. As you take out the avon from the house, you, and then you toyeches abayis, and then you go ahead and plaster the house again after you take the avon out of the house. And then there's another din of pisoyin, in other words, if things come back after that, so if things come back after that, the shear of coming back after that is Shnei Gris. And then there's a Madrega of Pisoyin, which is before you took out any stones from the house. We'll learn by Hamshach. Before you took out any st- stones from the house, there's also a gather of Pisoyin, and that Pisoyin is Kigris, is Nochamo. Pisoyin itself means it spreads. So if, you, if it spreads from the original Nega, so then even if it spreads kosher. If the original nega is there, and then it spreads another, uh, not next to the nega, but on another part of the walls, so then that pisoyin would be kigris. That would pisoyin would be kigris. And if this spreads, which means after you already took out the nega, and then there was the hitoyeches habayis, and now it comes back, which is also called pisoyin, and that's going to cause that you're going to have to you have to knock down the entire house, the titza. So then that Pisoyin would go into the get, that, that Nisoyin would have to be Shnei Grisim. We'll learn by Hamshach. That's what I'm saying it again. Let's, let's read it again. Shlei Shesimonu Tumah, Yesh Bebat, Mari Yerakrak, Vadamdum, Vapisoyin, Vikulom, Mufurashim Betel, Shnei Maris, Mitzarif, Zem, Zem. Upis Yina Somuch, that's Kosho, Vaharachik, is Vaharachik before you, brought, you took out the Nega, so the Pis Yina Harachik is Kigris. Avalachezer, Achri Hiteach, but what pisoyin after he taken, or after you already took out the nega, and then you were he takes abayis, you splastered the entire house, and now it came back. So then has to be kishnei gris, as the Ram will say clearly in the next halach, in the next pair. Halacha gimul ein nigi bati metamin achi yeh mari hanega shuffle min ha'eder shenamer shkaruris. So we learn out she is shaken by kiris. As we again nigi adam, we also learned that the, the negoyim have to be amukis. Omik Meir Psari. Now, Lemaisa Benigea Baharis, which is white, so it's brought down there. Ram said it also that the cloud of Tevis, that white is shuffle, 
is 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 shuffle from from something that's dark. Teva Chacham is a mukem and atzel. Teva Chacham is a mukem and atzel. Mashiachin over here. So the Rambam says that it's also the seder is the that a bright red or a bright green looks deeper than the rest of the uh, the area, the background around it. As we state, al kopan the halachi is that in order for the nega to be metame, it has to be shkaruris. That's what it says. I mean, Rashi really says in a nega lovan that there's an example of it's not amik. Rashi says any yidel mal because the chura lovan is always amik. That's what Rashi is. The Ram doesn't ask. The Ram just says bepshitus that if it's amik, it's tame. And if it's not Omic, it's not Tami. And over here, the Ramah is saying it has to be Omic. Then the Ramah continues, Ubishnei Hamaris Mazgirin, E Machlitin, Ubipisoyin Noitzen. So there's a Musa called Hezger. The first thing, you always start with Hezger. And then there's a Musa called Machlitin. And Machlitin could also be that you go ahead and you have to take out the Nega. You have to actually take out the walls, the, 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 the part of the wall that has the Nega. That's... That's also, that's machlitin, that's already becomes mamish tamay. And there's also other madregas where you have to go ahead and be matire the bias. Sometimes, we'll learn Bamshel, there's sometimes you have hezgir and you don't have to come on to tari, you, you're poita the bias. Then there's a matzias of hezgir where you have to go ahead and eventually be matire the bias. So that's already machlitin, and the, 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 the bias had a din of tumor. And then there's another madrega of pisoyin, which is pisoyin after you took out the, the bricks from the wall and then you had another pisoyin, as we learned before, that that pisoyin is bishtei grisim, so that's noitzim. Now, all these protim the Rambam is going to speak about in the next period. Over here the Rambam is giving us an outline of this din, that there could be masgirin and then there's machlitin and then there's noitzim. The imposa achri hiteach is noitzitz, is kol abayis k'meshi izbor. Ah, so the Rambam is saying really, pisoyin noitzim, the kometzias of noitzim, which includes also breaking it and taking out the, the bricks from the wall. You know, it was taking out the bricks from the wall, that's also part of Pisoyin Noitzen. And then there's a Metzius of Pisoyin Achri Hiteach, where then it's Noitzen Skolabais. I'll call one of there's three Madregas. There's Masgidin, there's Machlitin, and there's Pisoyin. And in Pisoyin Gufa, there's a Pisoyin Achri Hiteach, and there's a Pisoyin Kedem Hiteach, which the Ramam is going to discuss again in the next period. Allah Adalot. Kshiyira so he has to come along and say, Kin Nega Nirali Babayas. What about Benigay Nigay Odom and Benigay Begodom? The Ram didn't say this Losh that he should say, Kin Nega Nirali Babayas. So some want to say that the Pshar is because over there he doesn't say anything. He just shows himself to the Kain, he brings the beggar to the Kain, and then the beggar sees it. And then the Kohen sees it, he doesn't even say Kinega. Mashiach can abayas, he doesn't bring the bias. So he has to say why the Kohen should come with him. So therefore he has to say that he has a Nega. But for this reason, he shouldn't say, al tiftach pella sotan, nor say Nega nirili babayas. Could be by the time the Kohen will come and see it, it won't be a Nega. So he says, Kinega nirili babayas. That's what's brought up. Eleim al hakein kinega nirili babayas. Vetziva hakein opinus habayas. Now then it says, afilu chavile etzim, vafilu chavile kanim. You have to take out from the bias before the the coin goes and sees the bias, you should take out even chavili eitzim vafilu chavili kanim vachakach yovi akein viikonis viyira anega. So you have to take out everything out of the house. Now the question is, why do you take out chavili eitzim chavili kanim? The pastors you take things out of the house in order not to be makabel tumah. The Ram doesn't really say that. The Ram just says you have to take out everything from the house avilu chavili eitzim chavili kanim. So the Mishnah Melech is mechadish. That even though chavili yetsim and chavili kanim aren't mekabel tumah, but nevertheless, if the chavili yetsim and chavili kanim would be inside the house, while the kohen says that it's tummy or musger, so then the chavili yetsim would be mekabel tumah. It's a dvar chidush, a big chidush. And then there's the kasha that lechure the hamshel the ram is going to say that 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 some apostle is also matzil be bais amanuga. So this, this is mitzias of something being a bais amanuga, which is not tummy because it's. Some at Posel, and now we're saying that even Chavila Eitzim, which are Bechlala and Mechabal Tumah, are also Mechabal Tumah. So on that, they bring a Chiddush, a big Chiddush from Achreinim, that they're saying that while he's being Metami the bias, everything becomes Tami the bias, even some at Posel. Mashenka later on, when the bias is already Tami, not while it's being pronounced as being Tami, so then not, then only regular things have become Tami. And Mamele, if it's, if it's at some at Posel, or even if it's not some at Mamash, 
So even if it's not tight, so nevertheless, it's not Mechavol Tumah, like we learn by Hamshel. It's all very big Chidushim in Hilchas Tumah, which the Ram doesn't really say clearly. The Ram doesn't really say why Upinus Abayis. The Ram just says, with Siva Kein Upinus Abayis, Afil Chavil Eitzim, Afil Chavil Kanim, everything has to be taken out of the house. He doesn't write that if they're not taken out of the house, they're Mechavol Tumah, I'm just saying. The, the Mishnah Malach is Mechadish, that they're Mechavol Tumah, which is a big Chidush. That Chidush is getting to say another Chidush, that you have to be chalik bishas bishas. You're pronouncing the tuma, and later on, when the tuma is a tuma. But I'm just saying, in the Rambam, mefurish it doesn't say. The Rambam doesn't say this chiddush mefurish that it's mekabel tuma. Halacha hey, bias. Now the kohen is coming along to the house and he wants to see the house. He's by yourself, the house is dark. There's no windows there. And pesach and bechalein. This literally says nigga. You don't open any windows in order to start in those opening up areas in the house, breaking up. The wall, making windows in order to see the nega. If you can't see the nega, is a rizator. Va'achas sheyira kenes a nega is yetsi. Then the kohen goes out of the house. Vi'amid al pesach habayis b'tzad hamashkev, next to the mashkev, not under the mashkev as we'll see, but next to the mashkev. And vi'yazger is sheyish is yazger a yachlet. Now the first time he's never yachlet. Yachlet could only be the second time or the third time. Vi'yazger a yachlet a yifter shenamar. The Yotza came in Abayis, El Pesach Abayis, and his girls Abayis. On Leishi Yazgir, who betev Beisay, a betev Bayis Hamenuga, a Tachas Hamashkev. He shouldn't be in his own house. He should be Pesach Abayis. The Yotza came in Abayis, El Pesach Abayis. He should be next to the Pesach Abayis, and he shouldn't be betev Beisay, and he shouldn't be betev Bayis Hamenuga. But he should be Pesach Abayis, and he shouldn't be Tachas Hamashkev. El Betzad Pischei next to the Pesach of the Bayis Hamenuga. If Amar Tachas Hamashkev is a holok for Beis of his girl, is Harei Zem Musgar. The pale, if he, that's what the Chatchila should be. He should be standing outside the Mashkev and do, saying what he's saying. Mashiach Inkel for pale. He was in his own house, or he was outside under the Mashkev. It was not, not in his own house. If he was, he, he was in his own house rather, or he was under the Mashkev. So then Harei Zem Musgar. Now what happens if he was in the house itself? If he was in the house itself, so the Mishnah Mel Taka says that from here is Meduyik, that only when he's outside the house, he has to be outside the house, or he has to be, in, or he could be in his own house. The Chatchili should be right outside the Mashkev. But with the Yavid, if he was in his own house, or he was under the Mashkev, it's still also Muzgar or Muchot. Masha'inkin, if he was in the house, so then it's not Chal, his pronouncement. That's how he's being Medayik from Loshna Ram, because Ram just says, when Omer Tachaz HaMashkev, he doesn't mention the possibility of him being in the bias of Menuga. Allah of bias metami bin a goyim, achi yir be arba amas al arba amas a yeser. So one tonight is that it has to be at least four amas by four amas long. The, the size of it should be at least four amas by four amas. That's tonight one, number one. And number two is viyele arbok solem. And this house has to have four walls, not more and not less. And also, Vuhubani Ba'aretz, and it should be built on the ground, not it be built as a balcony, as we'll soon see. And also, it should be built Ba'avonim Va'afar Ve'it. The house should consist of stones, earth, and wood. Shnem es Avonav, Ves Eitzo, Ves Afrit. So, Nachamo. So, this is the term is as it has to be Arbamis al Arbamis, at least. It has to have four walls. Not at least four walls, only four walls, not less, not more. And a three, who Boni Boris has to be built on the ground, not in the balcony, not in the air. And also it has to have Bavonim Vaofer Vates. It has to have stones, earth, and and, and wood. Avalim Hoya Pachism Arbamas al Arbamas. It didn't have this tonight. A Shoya Ogil was round. A Shoya Bal Shleshik Sol. It was a triangle house. A Bal Khamisho, there were five walls to the house. El Shoyu Bani Besvina wasn't built on the ground, it was built on a ship. A Tali Al Arba was hanging on four beams. Whereas you have, let's say, a house that you have four beams sticking out of the house and you have like a balcony on top of that house and you built a house on top of that balcony. Is Aini Metame Bin Goyim. However, Hoyu Bani Al Boa Mudim is Metame Bin Goyim. Whereas if you have four beams that are going into the earth and then you have on top of those beams built a house that's Peseda. Masha'inkin, if you have beams coming out, you know, if you have, if, if you have, <clears throat> but if you have keris, beams coming out of the wall, 
There is not beams that are going directly onto the floor and standing on the beams of the floor, but rather it's beams coming out of a house. You have a house built, and from that house extends the beams, and you build the balcony there, for example. And over there, on top of that, you build a house. So then that house wouldn't be considered a house which is standing on the ground. That's considered a house that's in the air, and therefore it's not metami binagoy. Halacha zayin. Kama havonim yilbe. How many stones does this house have to have? Ein pachis mishmeina. Shtei havonim b'chol keso. There has to be four walls, and each wall has to have at least two stones. We learn out the Pasik says, Hanega Bakiris. So we learn out that each each wall has to be able to have a nega. We learn from the Pasik Hanega Bakiris that each wall has to be able to have a nega. And a nega is only when a nega is in two stones, like the Ram will say over here. How many stones does this house have to have? In Pachis Mishmena, because there has to be Shteyavon and Bechol Kesel. Each wall has to have two stones. Kedei Shia Kol Kesel Roy Lenega. Because we learn out from the Pasik that each of the walls, a nega bakiris, each wall has to be Roy Lenega. And in Abayis, Metami Bin Egoim, Achiyia Be Shnei Grisim Al Shnei Avonim. So in order for there to be Tumas Negoim, there has to be, oh, the nega has to be on two stones. Shnei Avonim, Asher Beham Nega, the Avonim. So the nega has to be on two Avonim. So Nochamol, each wall has to be Roy to have a nega. And a nega has to be on two walls. So in Mele, you have to have two walls. And you have to, I'm, I'm sorry, the nega has to be on two stones, rather. So in Mele, so each wall has to be at least two stones. That's the shear of the stones. The Kama Eitzim Yobe, we said it has to have also Eitzim and Offer. So Kama Eitzim Yobe, Kedelit in Tachas Amashka. Basically, the same there was that under Amashka they would put wood, that would, the, the door would bang onto the wood which was under the Mashkev. So the amount of wood that would be normally put under a Mashkev, that's the amount of wood that there has to be in that house. The house has to have wood, and that wood, how much wood? The wood that would normally be under a Mashkev. That amount of wood, it doesn't say it has to be under the Mashkev. Has to be the amount of wood that would normally be under a mashkev, and the offer. How much offer does the house have to have? So, words, when you have, let's say, you have stones, and let's say you have, let's say, a half a stone next to each other, two half a stones next to each other. So you would fill it up with earth in between the two stones to fill it up. It would be like a filler between two half a stones. Or if you have a row, let's say, a row of a half a row of stones, and another half a row of stones, and in the middle you have a filler between them. That would vices be the amount of offer that you would put in a certain amount of offer between there would be a regular shear of how much space would be between these two half a stones or the half a row of stones, and that's the amount of offer that the house has to have. Avalam Hoya Be Pachas Mishir Melu, if it had anything less than the Shirim, is any Matame Binagoim. It's not Matame Binagoim. So again, it has to have stones, it has to have two stones in each at least two stones in each wall altogether eight. It has to have offer. Has to have eightsim, which those eightsim have to be at least the amount of eights that's under a mashkif, and that you use under a mashkif, and the amount of offer that you would put being patsim lechaveri, Allah ches, halavenim, which is bricks, vashayish, that's marble, einok shuvim kavon, that's not called stones. Stones are stones. Stones that's something that comes out of a, a mountain, a mountainous area, and there's a, a, a rock in, on the ground. And that's a stone. That's a stone that comes out of it. Now, if one of the sides are even covered by shayish, you know, it's covered, that inside of the house is covered by shayish, or ve'echad besela, or, or, ve'echad doesn't mean and. Ve'echad means or, one of them is covered by sela. Sela means a stone that was never detached from the ground. It was, it's still a sela which is attached to the ground. And ve'echad belevein more, one is covered by brick, or ve'echad be'ovet, it's covered with earth. Eini metam b'negoyim. So it has to be a house that has stones. The stones are making up the house, and those st- stones are uncovered. You know, there shouldn't be a, a a layer of 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 brick, or, or 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 marble, or or even stone which is still attached to the ground, or or earth which is covering this 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 wall. The wall should be exposed. And it should be a wall of stone, stones which were detached from the ground. Look at this. Bias shulihoyu be avonim the eitzim be offer kishir. If you had a house that didn't have the shear of what the Ram was saying, the amount of avonim eitzim and offer, and v'nira be nega in that house you saw a nega, and v'achar kachivu le avonim ve'eitzim ve'offer, 
And now you went ahead and added to that house the amount of Eitzim Avonim and Ofer, and now this house is eligible to Mikabal and Nega, but it had the Nega from before it was reached that Madrega. So Torah. So that Nega is not Matame. You know, in order for a Nega to be Matame, it has to be a Nega which appears in a house which is Roy Le Kabul Tumah. Mashiach and a Nega that appears in a house which is not Roy Le Kabul Tumah. And then the house became a house which is Roy Le Kabul Tumah, so it's not Le Kabul Tumah. Allah Yud, Bayez Shesichachei Bezroim is Bitlon. Now the question is, the din is, a Bayez HaManuga has a special din Tumah, an Ava Tumah like we learned by Hemshech. Now if you have something in a house, so that also is Mekabal Tumah, but it doesn't have that Madre of Ava Tumah. That's also Mekabal Tumah, it's only a Rishul Tumah. Now you have a bias, which is a house, of a sicha chay You cover it with zroim, with things that grow. Zroim are seeds. So the question is, do they become part of the house? And now when you're going to go ahead and break the house, so it's going to be makab, it's, it's going to have a din of tumma, of a bias shenitze, melis and ava tumma. Or no, it's, it's just something which maybe touched the house or, or was exposed to the house, but it's not part of the house. So that's what he's saying. Bias shesicha chay that you cover it with zroim, is bitlon you will mavat all these zroim to the house because hail mishamsh and tash mishesh they're tash mishesh they're they're being used like wood they're they're covering the house it's like the ceiling of the house is a raise a case so therefore it has a din of aids and therefore the nitma bias is nitma ima tuma chamurik meshis bar so it becomes the din of the tuma chamurik no it becomes a din as if it's part of the house again the house itself is tome will soon learn an avatuma very strong avatuma a bias shenitzay. So we're saying these zroim, which were used to be mesachim the house, so, and, and now this house became tummy, so these zroim are part of the house, and therefore they're also metav, they have a din of tumah chamura. Allah yudal, Yishalayim, the chutz loritz, ain metam bin negoim, shnema be beis eretz achuzaskam. So it has to be beis eretz achuzaskam, so obviously it's, 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 that's not chutz loritz. And also Yishalayim is laid in schal kolishvatim. It wasn't divided up with Shvatim, so therefore it also is not included in Eretz Achuzaskim, which is your Yerusha. And also, Abati Hagoyim Shib Eretz Yisrael are also a Metam Vinagoyim. So even though in Eretz Yisrael is Metam Vinagoyim, but it's based Eretz Achuzaskim, it has to be yours. Now, Halakea Batim and Agoy is Yiro Abitchila. So even though the Pel the Nega was there while the Goy was there already, but nevertheless, now that the Yid owns it, so now the Yid shows the, the bias. The, the nega to the kayin, and then the, the din is whatever the din is. In other words, the, the fact that the nega was there while the guy was there doesn't change anything. Halacha yud gimel. Bayis should see the echad goy, but see the echad yisrael. You have a house, and the house is made up of four walls, but one side of the house, and there's one part of the house belongs to the yid, and the other part of the house belongs to the goy. Or see the echad bar, it's one part of the house is in Eretz Yisrael, but see the echad, and the other part of the house is b'chutz l'aretz. So is any matam bin goyim. So even the part of the yid, or the part in Eretz Yisrael, is any matam bin goyim. Which arkol abatim shvers Yisrael, other batim in Eretz Yisrael. He mentioned Yishalayim. He mentioned Chutz Laaretz. He mentioned Yishalayim. He, <coughs> he mentioned if, see the, if if part of it belongs to the goy or it belongs to a goy. Mashein came shakol abatim shvers Yisrael matam bin goyim. They're all matam bin goyim. Bein tzvuim b'dei yadim, bein tzvuim b'dei shemayim. The fact that they were painted doesn't change anything. Allah you doubt. Beiso Isha, and al there is a base a shutfim, and base a knes is a base a medish, shiyajbam dilo le chazon, melitamidim, where people live in there, is metam bin goy. So even with them, it has to be base eretz achuzaskim, it has to be something which you're using, not in yonim shal kedish. So the mele could be say base Isha, it doesn't have to be, even though this psukim that seems to be talking, saying that it's a shalea bias, nevertheless we learn out that an Isha is also. The bias of the Isha's metal on the Kabul uh, Tumas Nagoim, and Aldera is a Beis Ashutfim. But a Beis Akneses, in order for a Beis Akneses to be a Kabul Tumas Nagoim, it has to be a Beis Akneses where people live in. Either a Dira al Chazonim, a Litamidim, so then Metamir bin Nagoim. Halacha Tezain, Kiris Aeves, the Kiris Hamachitza Sheba Bias, ain't Metamir bin Nagoim. So there's a, there's the house has walls, and inside the wall there's a partition. You made a partition in the house to separate different areas, or you made it in order for the behemoth to eat over there, which is Kiris Eves. So it's not a wall that goes up all the way to the ceiling. We're talking about a wall, it was a, a partition within the house. So those partitions, that's not called the, the Kiris Habayis, that's not the Kiris Habayis. Kiris Habayis are the Kiris of the house itself. The partitions which are within the house, that is not Mikabal Tumas Nagoyim.